Sheep Thief. Today I'll be coming at you with the Sleeping Dogs post YouTube Let's Play series. He's not doing anything illegal, Lao Mao. Yeah, sure. Legitimate people are always dealing with low lives and hookers in back alleys. He's just talking with friends. So, um. I raised the stupidest daughter on the island. I honestly don't even really uh Did you hear about the shoot know where to begin. This game is definitely a masterpiece. I am tempted to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, to be honest, I'm going to start this off by just saying like... <sighs> The ending just caught me right in the feels. Ever since, like I finished it last night, and I've been it's been on my mind all day today. Like the story is is just really good. Like in trouble. May I look to help? The, the ending is sad. Like, I'm sad. Jackie died. Jackie was like... Pretty much everything that's good about the triads. Um, sort of like Uncle Poe said, like, loyalty, discretion, sort of like family kind of thing. And he just ends up getting butchered. And I just feel I feel like a, a rat, you know. I feel like a like a you're not you're not like I'm an undercover cop. I'm a fed. You're not exactly a rat. You're more like a a fed, but it still feels like I betrayed the the triads. Um. I was sort of thinking that there's going to be some twist where you basically s turn, you hey, stick with the triad to turn on the police and they yeah, don't you turn you over, but that's obviously unrealistic, and at the end of the day, Wei trouble. is a cop, um, and just this, this sort of sad, not entirely good ending, good in the sense of, it's like a complicated ending. I sort of feel like it almost would have been more interesting if Pendrew got away, moved on, just to show the sort of fruitlessness of it. But I guess I'm glad that he got what's coming to him. Um, but yeah, let's just talk about the the map. Like, look at this. This is. You know, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 or whatever. I never played it, but I heard about it, and I was sort of hyped about it. But then, did the wise thing and didn't immediately buy it, and said waited, and which was a good call because the whole game turned out to be a disaster. This game somehow captures Cyberpunk better than Cyberpunk does, you know. Um, and it's not even supposed to be Cyberpunk. So this is. Like, moving around in the city is a... It's just... It's a joy. It's a joy to just walk around. It's, it's the same thing The same thing with um, Black Flag. When I finished AC Black Flag, same with Assassin's Creed 2, same with Re Revelations. Like, it just feels bad uninstalling it from your computer because you're like, I still want to... I'm going to miss, like, walking around. I'm definitely going to play this game again. That's for sure. At some point, I'm gonna play it again. Um, like the, they do a really good job of capturing the the feel of a city. Like there, there are a lot of NPCs on screen right now. And I know sometimes there are repeated NPCs, like I can see two of that chick right there. But it does it really doesn't stick out. At no point when I was playing was I like 
oh, there aren't that many different NPCs. The one good thing about this game is is the the lack of guns. I think I think if there are guns, it would sort of cheapen the whole thing. Like, Stain, the police are not a joke in this. I'm sure there are people who are better at the game that. Uh, Disagree. Also, that door just opened. Can I go in there? No. Weird. The other thing is, I feel like there are definitely little secrets around this city that I haven't even begun to find. Um. Yeah. If, again, like, I I feel like the only thing I'd wish for is just, like, a longer story. Like, I wish it was still going. I'm sad that it's over. And maybe even the city being bigger, but, you know, this came out in 2012. And it wasn't like... Having GTA in an Asian city wasn't like some... proven business model, so I bet they were kind of like, is this going to work? And I think financially it wasn't a gigantic success, from, from my understanding. Um, another part of me wants to say I wish they'd make like a Sleeping Dogs 2 now, but the thing is they'd probably find some way to make it terrible. Well, uh, with the way the, sta the absolute state of modern games right now, like, I would not trust them to to not ruin it. So I think I think the wise thing is to just let this game be the gem that it is, uh, without um, trying to redo it. Yeah. And just walking around is, is uh, something I'm going to miss doing. Um, regarding like the gameplay mechanics, I like the driving. It's weird. I played GTA 4. I never finished it when I was in, in high school. And it could be that I've just gotten worse at video games, but I felt like the driving in this was harder than in GTA. Like, let's let's get in a car. Let's take this guy's car. Like, the driving in this game is not easy, and if you'll remember the, the uh, motorcycle race that I had to do like 30 times in a row, like, it's not exactly cakewalk. But again, I'm sure there's some people who are good at driving games that would disagree. Um, the other thing is that the driving's on the wrong side of the road from my American perspective. Which made the whole thing a little harder. But again, interesting. The, the lack of guns really made the, um, the game better, I think. In GTA, you have like RPGs and stuff. These alleys are all beautiful. And then. Like, this is the. And it's on, honestly the best one.
Yeah, one thing I do is uh, if you're playing this, I'd recommend trying to follow the traffic because it makes it way more fun. If you're just like smashing into things all the time, it's like kind of makes it. It's just an added challenge you can do. Uh, Very good. The one thing I found a little irritating was fighting the grapplers in combat. I didn't quite understand what I was supposed to be doing to them, but it might just be me being bad. Yeah, so they're like they're like different districts in the uh, city. Just go on sort of a, a tour of them. Each one is really good. I feel like the richer ones felt a little more empty, but honestly, it's not entirely a I'm not really sure. What else to add? I would say if you haven't played this, definitely give it a go. It's uh, I'd I'd recommend it over GTA. I'd recommend it over Cyberpunk. I'd recommend it over a lot of things. Just really. thing. I think if you don't like sort of fist fighting a lot, then maybe you wouldn't like it. But I liked the fist fighting. Yeah, this wasn't like... like the other thing is like, I wish maybe... I had that I could interact with some of the people I've met on my cell phone a little more. I remember in GTA you could like hit up your your homies and like call the girls that you meet again. Like some of the girls like you 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 meet them and then you have premarital intercourse with them on the first date and that felt a little uh, aside from the degeneracy of it it felt like each of the girls was pretty likable I didn't I didn't like Ileana that much but like what happened to the blonde girl I forget what her name was and then not ping I like not ping I liked um, Sandra the Crete, she, even though she was crazy. And once you once you go on a date with him, that's pretty much it. But whatever, honestly, like with Baldur's Gate and like The Witcher and stuff, where you there's the romance stuff is just so over the top. That uh, you know. 
maybe it's sort of a breath of uh, a breath of fresh air, just having it be like, uh, oh, okay, yeah, you call them and you do some little mission and it's over. Instead of like Baldur's Gate, where you're like turning into a bear and stuff. But Yeah, it's gonna hurt to uninstall this. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like dragging this review out just to get my last sort of walk through of the city. Yeah, I guess my suggestions for if you're doing a playthrough is try to follow the traffic rules, or at least not um, smash into things and people, because that makes it makes the driving a little more fun. And then don't get the health shrines because I'm pretty sure that increases your health and makes you pretty unkillable. And then, like I'm sure there are little ways you can game things. There are all these races that I still need to do. Let's just do that. That race looks pretty fun. Let's do that to end this off. I might get locked into a, another uh, 30 episode. That thing's. Oh, yeah, this thing's overpowered. Don't drive that around either. Let's do this. I feel like these cars are way nicer than. Oh my god, someone just poked me on TeamSpeak, but wait, it could actually be my friend. That is so annoying. Are you serious? And on that note, I will uh, 
I will uh, let you guys go. I need to talk to my friend. This game was a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it. Sleeping Dogs. Masterpiece.